What we're going to do next here is to show you the basic way to attach a loudspeaker connector to a loudspeaker wire. What we're going to use is a Neutrik connector, a Speakon connector. It's a fairly simple device. It has taken hold in our industry and has become the standard for loudspeaker connections. Our first operation is to thread the strain reliefs onto the cable. Obviously, we don't want to connect the wires until our strain reliefs have been placed first. So we start with the screw-on strain relief at the bottom and then thread in the compression relief. And before we start stripping any more, we're going to put a piece of heat shrink over the cable to give it added strain relief below the point where we're going to strip it. That part being done, we will strip the outer insulation gently off of the cable to expose the inner conductors. All right, now once that's done, we'll take our strippers. First, we'll go ahead and cut it down the length because we certainly don't need all that much cable in there. And we will strip off approximately a quarter of an inch of cable from each of the inner conductors. Alright, we've exposed the speaker conductors inside and now we're ready to insert them into the connector itself. The Neutrik NL2 cables feed in from the back and they are held in by captive screws on the sides of the connectors. So I will now attempt to get them into their lugs. And once they're seated in their connectors, we'll locate those screws. and tighten them down. All right, once this is accomplished and before we go any farther, we're gonna go ahead and seat that heat shrink we were talking about that acts as an extra strain relief. This will require the use of a heat gun, gently. Once we've shrunk that down, now we can assemble the back end of the connector. First of all, the compression strain relief. And this actually lines up. There are two little dots on top of the strain relief that tell you where it's supposed to enter the connector. It is done right above this push pin. And gently work the compression relief in. Mm -mm. Thusly. Now, as you can see, we have the connector almost completed. We bring the clamp portion around to the back, gently squeeze the compressions, ears. Look at me. Once it's firm, line up the slot with the pin, push it, and this completes the connection. Well, that completes our connection to the Neutrik NL2 speaker connector, and many of you are wondering why we even choose this. Well, this is an excellent connector for its purpose. First of all, it has a positive strain relief that really keeps the wire from being yanked out. Second of all, it is very strong. It is almost impervious to damage. And finally, and most importantly maybe, it is a positive locking connector.